Okay, so we have decided it is official. We are going to have a biscuit off. The first inaugural Waddle Gang Food Grandiose Competition. Yes. Final name to be determined and trademarked. Mm-hmm, of course. F5 Penguin. Yeah. Magic by Pixie. Yep. Who can eat the most Popeye's biscuits in 90 seconds? See, I'm a little bit concerned because, this and, is what here's, I need you and for. here's here's why, Go ahead. right? And I'm I will take your fears I'm not, right now. I'm not gonna sit like I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. to oh, both mics are picking you up, so it sounds like you're. In a, hang on, I'll bring her down. There we go. Good feedback. Thank you. How about now? I don't know. Try now. Now. Okay. You'll okay. To speak well, louder. here we are. Um, what I'm saying is, depending on the time of day you get said Popeyes biscuits, they could be yep. number one, really good. Now she's low. Oh Jesus. You got to use your stage voice, Tiff. I'm afraid then, because then I'm like yelling into your microphone, which was not what I was not supposed to be doing in the first place. Oh, that's fair. Um. Anyways. There you go. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. So, one, your biscuits could be really good, mm -hmm. right? Or two, and I'm not trying to send hate here, but this has been my experience more often than not. They're going to be crunchy and kind of dry. At, at Popeye's? Yeah. Yeah. I well, love Popeyes, and I am gonna say, the biscuits can go one like it's it's not. I don't know that they would be Popeyes biscuits that I would choose to well, to to involve myself in a biscuit off. Well, Fifty wanted uh, uh, McDonald's biscuits. Those are always dry. Those are terrible. There are terrible options. I, she doesn't have a Cracker Barrel near her. That would be the best choice, right? Naturally. Yeah, because they're like the closest to. Like those homemade, like extra buttery biscuits. Yeah. Why don't you two just make your own biscuits? We're not gonna no, because then there's no consistency. Buy the same kind you, of biscuit. No, you are you are causing a recount in this inaugural event that I, I am, am not gonna stand for. Look, I am a Floridian. That's what we do. I understand you are on the hanging Chad team, but I am not gonna stand for a level of interference why can't you guys do something like red lobster biscuits they're pretty consistent across the across the board and pixie. the cheddar biscuits are so good freaking cheddar bay biscuits pixie why did we not think of this <laughs> everybody's got a red lobster joey flash agrees by the way that they're dry why did See? we not think of the cheddar bay biscuits i have one like eight minutes from here Game changer. This is what Mrs. Penguin does, ladies and gentlemen. Why I'm here. I thought Floridians were retirees who play golf every day and yell at clouds. Ouch. Sack doesn't do that. He's not I mean, that old yet. Um, half of us. Love you, buddy. Three quarters? Three quarters. Do you have a Red Lobster near you, Pixie? There's no drive through at Red Lobster. They have uh, curbside delivery, though. You could do pickup. Yeah, you can do... You can do pickup. Now, I know in Florida, we're acting like everything's normal. We can go inside. I understand that. Can you access a red lobster near you today like not today today but like can you do it we need a call if it's still alive hang on all right we're checking we're checking right now breaking news we're checking right now to see if there's a red lobster there we have to have consistency the fact that you were willing to interfere in this i i am appalled but you have you have renewed yourself by offering a better solution. Listen, I was just saying you bake. I've seen you bake biscuits. They're they're not dry. They're I'm hard as a brick. I'll be. I would have baked your biscuits. That sounded uh, well, like you I was just my hitting on you a little bit. At least. Don't even start. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Garden breadsticks. Now we're going too far out. We can't go into breadstick territory. Uh, Flash asked if we could dunk the biscuits in liquid. I I have said this from the beginning. I am open to allowing uh, any 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 form of uh, beverage and dunking of the beverage similar to the Nathan's hot dog eating competitions in alliance with, and I do want to make sure this is clear, in alliance with the Major League Eating rule set. This is my every one of my 4th of July nightmares coming true. Tell, tell the story. Tell the story. What's, this, which which why, what story? Why we are so on opposite sides of the fence when it comes down to... The 4th of July great tradition that is the Nathan's hot dog eating competition. Okay, sure. So long story short, my my first job I, I had for several years, like high school through um, a little bit of college, I worked at 
Panera and the Panera that I worked at was, it's, it's, I mean, it's Florida. So we just established it's a bunch of old people, right? Well, old people eating Panera is the nastiest, grossest, messiest, just mouth Terrible. sounds food Terrible. everywhere Terrible. thing. Yeah. So this made me like at 16 staring over like, you know, counters that people like, oh my God, just with soup and baguettes everywhere and bagel. P- it was just, soup it was bad. It was everywhere. not good. It was not good. And now I cannot stand to watch people eat. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Normal like conversation. Sure. Like we're eating dinner together. We're having lunch, whatever we're, we're eat. We're both eating together. Like fine. Yeah. Food competitions where people are sticking soggy <laughs> bread right into your face <laughs> and it's on your face and it's falling down and it's great. And it just, mm, I hate it. And you, for some reason, love it. Want to watch the this best thing on television. want to watch this every year and every year it makes me want to crawl into a hole and no, hide. This is great. It's gross. No, it's so it's great. So gross. It, is, it is Americana. It is tradition. It is history. It is grit. It is American true tenacity to devour no, as much food no. as possible and you know, like sometimes, in as little time as like, humanly capable. I watched that MTV behind the, the whatever. The best one of the behind the scenes one. Yeah. Whatever it the was. True and Life. True Life. True life. Yeah, I'm and a they competitive were like dunking with it. Eater X. Yeah. And they were dunking it in red Gatorade or like fruit punch. Or something, and it was Joey, just, uh, yeah, oh, Joey Chestnut. Yeah. It's gross. Joey Chestnut. I hate it. And so... If I can have a say here, I'm going to say maybe we don't make mushy bread biscuits and then hold on, dunk them, hold on, and smush it on. Are your face. you saying that yeah. this competition, yep, that we are are, are doing right here, mm-hmm. is is about to def- defect yeah. from the tried and true? traditional stance of the major league eating rule set and competition. Maybe we could make it less like that and more like man versus food. Cause like he doesn't spend so much time dunking his food. He just tries to eat it. You know, that's TV edited, right? TV edit this for me, please. You, but in real life, you're going to, we're going to mess around and eventually you're going to be like, yeah. we should use a, a moist towelette in between bites for 30 seconds. Like, what are you doing? Would it be the, First thing if you cleaned your face after no during yes i don't like this i can't believe you're about to i mean it's biscuit so it's not a big deal no it's not this is what we're doing but thank it- you flash joey flash says dunking is sometimes essential to combat dryness take that however you wish I should have expected something like that. I should have. I should have. <laughs> I added the last part. I'm sure you did. Um yeah, no, I get that, but I'm just saying. Eh, hold on, it. hold on, Pixie, are you backing out of this competition? She doesn't want to do it. She said, "She said, what if we got chicken nuggets from every fast food establishment and chose the number one chicken nugget?" That mm. sounds clickbaity, and then it turns into the uh, uh, Michelin chef chefs from five star restaurants rate the best chicken nugget. You'll never believe number two. Like we're not doing that. I would do that too, but like right now we're trying to do the biscuit thing, and I, I almost had her bought in. You almost brought her out of this. She wanted to see how you would react to that suggestion. To the chicky nuggies. To the chicky nuggies. By the way, the fact is, yeah. When you say chicky nuggies, yeah. What? They taste better. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. You told me for a long time I wasn't allowed to say nugs. So. No, you can't say nugs. Um, I mean that would be a good idea, except everybody knows what the best chicky nuggies are, and now I discovered. I oh, this was, no more. yeah, this was a, this was a unfortunate discovery the last day. Yeah. So, I mean, you'd have to forfeit that one. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Um, I, I would say you'll never believe F5 is a Michelin star chef. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. once got the chicken nug platter, it's $10 for 50 nugget. We get that all the time for the kids because we got two hungry hollow legged monsters in the, in the <laughs> Casa de Igloo, uh, flash. So we constantly go after the family platter. It's fun when you go through the drive through because you order and they're like, <sighs> pull around, please. Then you know they weren't ready. That's how you can tell. Uh, <laughs> I, I love that little sack went and tested chain chicken sandwiches over the summer. Popeye's number one, Zaxby's number two. Where was Chick-fil-A on that ranking? Fun fact. I set up a myriad of different sauces and dipped them all, even made mini chicken parms with hot dog buns. 
Joey Flash took the nug platter to another level. Yes. That is that is level of delicatessen uh, charcuterie type board setup that I have never seen in my life before. Have you ever made a charcuterie board? I've never made one myself, except from the one from the office. You made it? You made The one from the office. If you want to take a little venture over here, I have a... Oh, okay, okay. Melted so no. cheese blend. So no, you haven't. Of the Wisconsin type. <laughs> he thinks Chick-fil-A is bad. Either you... I'm not either big on the Chick-fil-A sandwich. you love it or you hate it. Not. I love the Chick-fil-A sandwich. I don't really like but it. But I, I like to cover it in chick-fil-a sauce it's kind of weird. it's really the sauce i don't care about the sandwich you're right it's the sauce i like the little bites right like the little chicken the little bites. nugs yeah you yeah. like the nugs but i don't like the whole chicken sandwich because it's gonna sound weird right but like the actual chicken patty of yeah. it like the breast has like a weird consistency it does because it's pressure fried yeah, yeah i it's mean weird. it's it's like oh like it's not bouncy it's not bouncy but it's got a surprising texture it's got a it's got a bite to it and i don't like it yeah because with a bite like that, you expect crunchy. Yeah, and it's, and it's not. not. Yeah, it's weird. Um, we just got a Chick-fil-A nearby. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It, it backs up everywhere. It's the craziest thing on like the planet. I like the breakfast chicken minis. are so good. I do like that. I like the, the breakfast chicken bagel. Oh, you got to get the so minis good. for the little honey buns. If someone gives me a CFA sandwich, I'm not going to say, oh, my God, get that out of here. I'm going to say, okay, I'll eat it and say it's okay. <laughs> That's about right. You know I get what? That, if yeah. I give somebody a sandwich, they're like, all right, whatever. Yeah, like, we don't, we I'm don't, not giving you a sandwich anymore is what I'm saying. We don't go out of our way to get to Chick-fil-A. But if it's like if we're near one and there's other options, we might probably lean towards them. It really depends on if I want waffle fries. I really just waffle like to go there for the, <laughs> and for the waffle fries and the Polynesian sauce. You like the Polynesian I do, sauce. On, on the fries. I get that. It makes sense. Uh, when you just get a Popeyes that just came out of the fryer and it's crispy in that brioche bun, that's how I feel about Bojangles. I've never had a Popeye sandwich. Oh, that's how I, feel I only ever get those little like twisted chicken thingies. You love their chicken tenders. Those are really good. The spicy ones are yeah. like fantastically good. Yep. Yeah, I get it's that. It's good. Hold on. Back to topic though. Oh, sorry. We are going to do this, Pixie. We're going to have to make sure we are doing the major league eating rules. I am not going to let you be smirch and, di and disgrace our inaugural event first I'm not going to be there. You have to. Okay, so the reason you're here is we need you to officiate. I'm busy. You're not busy. I have a schedule clash. What is your schedule clash? I'm going to be in another room. <laughs> 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 oh, man. We didn't even choose a date. Oh, we're going <laughs> to. I'm busy, all of them. Who said that? <laughs> Pixie. Pixie, I'm busy. <laughs> What are you doing? I thought she would have been like, oh, yeah, she's totally. No, I don't know. No, we're, we need an officiator. We're going to co-stream it. How am I supposed to How am I on supposed video. to count? On video. You're going to be the timer. Yeah. On video. Mm -hmm. She's going to have an advantage because she's going to get at least like a two second advantage. Yeah. No, we're going to do it on Discord video. There will be no advantage. It's going to be fair. Down the middle. I'll think about it. We're going to need you to keep count. I'll see if I can clear my schedule. Dunks Dynasty is in the building lurking and agrees about Chick-fil-A being terrible. Uh, <laughs> the location, at least. The week between Christmas and New Year's, everyone is drunk, hungover, bloated, or all of the above. All the more reason to eat the biscuits. That's probably true. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how biscuits will do for your bloat, but yeah. I mean, uh, give it a oh, try. Oh, you love Chick-fil-A. You hate the location. Gotcha. Yeah, because the traffic's awful. The fact that they can... Here's what's crazy about Chick-fil-A. Side note, did you know this? I think you knew this because I've told you this. What's that? Chick-fil-A does more business per hour Yeah. at peak hours than McDonald's does all day. Well, yeah, because have you seen how it's like there's nobody there and then there's 175 people there out of nowhere in the drive-thru yeah, and it like wraps around the building And they're out times. in two minutes. Yeah, it's insane. But you know, what's, you know what? I got to say, they have terrible coffee. Their coffee's awful. It tastes like dirt yeah it, it, it tastes like you hate people that you give that coffee it's to. like it, I, it tastes like like three day old not that i've ever had three day old coffee but if i did i would think that's what it would taste like it's like really not good yeah it's awful i'm not gonna ever be sponsored by chick-fil-a like, i don't yeah. trust coffee outside my keurig and duncan duncan coffee up north and you 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 can attest to this now duncan coffee up north is so different than duncan coffee down here I got to be honest. I was never getting any coffee at Duncan. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were no. getting the froofy coffees, the froofy drinks. I don't know what a froofy drink froofy. is. You know what froofy is. I drink a caramel latte. With? Skim milk. And? 
no whipped cream. So Proofy. what? No, it's not. Proofy. Anyways, I was just there for your uncle to drive from Duncan to Duncan to Duncan to wherever we were trying to actually get to while he got the world's <laughs> tallest coffees. With whip would be froofy. Fair. Uh, she drinks mocha froca bullshit. <laughs> Who said that? Dunks. She is staring at you so hard right now. Uh, he doesn't get to cream. know my other coffee orders. He just gets to know the basic caramel latte. Basic. Don't you out me. Because you're a basic person. That's who you are. I really thought you were going to say something else. I'm not going to say that. Chuck this penguin in my hand at you. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm more of a Tim Hortons for coffee. Timmy's is drinks. so damn good. I wish we had one here. Other uh, than remember like when they had it at Emily? Do they not have it at Emily? They still anymore? do, but we can't go there. Well, I, you know what I saw today on Facebook? Emily was putting out their like social distancing stuff. For yeah, I know because the they're doing the raffle events back yeah. for the basketball team. That's so like, here. I'm gonna go there and get some coffee. Yeah, we should. It'll be the fruitiest drink. You I buy can. a ticket just to go get Timmy's. I've I, done I weirder do things. Yeah, we have. We've done weirder things. Uh, <laughs> what? Did, I don't know what Ferda is. I love Timmy's coffee. Uh, she was about to throw a child at you. What did she? What did I she? said, oh, because I said this little penguin. I have. I just pick up stuff and. I just no, it's my it's my club penguin penguins. They got moved. Nobody notices the changes behind me, by the way. I don't know if you've ever seen that. I keep changing I did. things. I've seen you've it. seen them. And we talked about this. Nobody says anything. And I, I think maybe things. you block it. I don't. Are I don't sure? block it. I'm positive. I don't block it. I'm not sure. Oh, Pixie does. Pixie sometimes. Of course she it. does. But I'm still mad at her for calling me out on my schedule. You, clash. She can't hear you. Not talking. I to said microphone. I'm still mad at her for calling me out on my schedule clash. Yeah, that's true. I hold grudges. That's right. I forgot. I did shush her the last time she noticed it. But she's in, she's part of the, 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 you know, she's if you know, you know, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? OK, so we need to set this up Hashtag, for real. This is real. Right? Yeah. This is real. It's your stream. If I was if I was stream rating, maybe I'd notice by my here for your backgrounds. Yes, you are. Uh, everybody's here for my backgrounds. They're more important than I am. Uh, so here's the thing. Let's set a date right now. We need to come up with a date to secure this entire ordeal. By the way, we started talking about cyberpunk. We got here. This is crazy. To biscuits. So, all because of sack. Why did I just? I sounded super southern there for a second. For biscuits. To biscuits. Hey, sis, it's biscuits. Uh, Have you seen the Target commercial where they're talking about the Jingle Jam A's? And it makes me think, <laughs> it makes me think of that that uh, that bit every time. Like I just keep hearing Drew be like, "Hey, sis, it's Christmas." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flash, I did set up dunks with Streamlabs OBS literally five minutes before show. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's so much better than uh, OBS. If you are new to streaming and dunks is not uh, the he's not the most computer friendly person. So, yeah, you just released those on demand today. I'm so excited. Flash just put the videos on demand today I'm from so the, like, the sing off. I, I can't tell you how many times I, and it was dumb because I just happened to catch it because like I don't, I'm, I'm never in here. Yeah. It's on, and I just happened to catch it, right? And every time I see that Target commercial, which is on all the time now, I just picture, because like, you know how his face was getting all flushed and like his hair was like, fuck, you know, because yeah. he was like in it. Yeah, yeah. And I just hear him singing that every time the Target commercial comes on. Which yeah. makes me feel yeah. a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I told Drew uh, last week when they aired it, I, I tweeted them. I said, uh, it's the craziest thing because I started talking about the karaoke and my son yells, they do that skit on Miguel and Holly. I love that show. <laughs> and I said, Cox Media Group has infiltrated the Igloo house, like oh, hands yeah. down between you and and myself and, and our son, and now our younger son even, that knows Miguel and Holly, it is, it is uh, filled with all different types of content. I try to content. keep him on, I try to keep him on the 94.9. He's not quite Miguel and Holly ready yet, yeah, I know, you know? I know. I caught both of them trying to listen to <laughs> Blown Off, and I was like, the radio's turning off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's set a date. We need to set a date for this. This is important. I think this is, we need to do this. Uh, let's set it up for, I'm looking at my calendar. Um, we should set this up for, uh, how does Wednesday the 30th look? On, well, it's got to be nighttime, right? Because work and things for me. Wednesday the 30th. How does that? And yeah, Drew, I forgot to tell you because I saw, I heard this earlier. Drew was featured in the Blown Off today. Really? Yes. I'll have to ask because, you know, he was listening to it this morning. He And he was like, I was wondering what he was talking about because he came up to me while I was making breakfast. And he's like, Mom, hurry up with the pancakes. I've got to go finish Blown Off. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Oh, are you streaming on Wednesday, Pixie? 
How are we going to... We have to arrange this somehow. I don't know how we're going to do this because I don't know how Discord video is going to work. Because if you're streaming and I'm streaming... What I, okay, here's my, here was my thought. If you're okay with this. If you're okay with this, here's my thought process. I'll stream it. My thought process is we get on Discord video... And I'll, I'll make a little screen for us on our side. And I'll stream the whole thing on, our, on, on the stream. And they, they can see both of us at the same time. We can have Mrs. Penguin count it with the microphone so she can see it. We, we'll do it. And it's going to be a friggin' amazing thing. Are we good? So we'll do it for like, we'll start the show at 9 and go right into it. That's what we're opening with. We're not going to do it. A biscuit off? A biscuit off. At the opening. What a way to ring in the new year. What a way to ring in the new damn year. Streamlabs has a Skype NDI now, too. I have OBS Studio I'm using, but uh, I can probably NDI that one, too. But I, I just typically Discord video, patch it in. I have it cut and boom, done. Um, by the way, I have you up on two screens. This is the dedication I need for my people. Who said that? Dunks. He's double watching you? Double watching me. I don't think it counts as two views, but damn it, I don't care. It doesn't matter. He's watching um, you in stereo. In stereo. Can you? What? Okay. In like 8K. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're going to dunk the biscuits like they do? See, this is what we're saying. Oh, you're, my God. Everybody's asking these questions. These are important questions. Who was that? This was Sack. I am of the opinion. This is my. This is the official ruling. This is the official ruling. Whatever, man. It only counts by IP, so it's just one. Um... The official ruling is we will follow the rules of the Major League Eating Competition Standards set forth as such. You can use any liquid that you want to. You can dunk anything you want to. A completed biscuit is the full biscuit consumed in your mouth and held in your mouth at the end of the whistle. You know what? I'm going to say this. You go right ahead. You go right ahead, Mr. Food has to have an appropriate texture. You sop up your I'm biscuits. I'm not going to do it. You go... Oh, well, gonna... I don't care what she does. I don't have to see it flopping all over the table yeah, you and do. everything here. You have here. to count. You have to count. It's going to be no different. I thought I was going to have to see this in person. It's going to be no different than when you make me watch those shows every and you don't watch 4th them. of July. I, excuse <gasps> me. I have She to. wants to know if you're saying she's gross. The floor is yours. No. Biscuits can be gross. <laughs> she said, because I mean, she's right. I'm a messy eater. No. Oh, Pixie. <laughs> I mean, are you surprised? <laughs> Actually, I am. Because she doesn't eat any food. No, just because oh. she's just always very like particular. You know, anytime it, like, you know, things are just very, I mean, it looks like a little bit chaotic, like, you know, because she's very like high energy, but she's like always looks very particular. I just imagine she was like really not messy this is amazing. in anything. Seymour wants to know if you will be using your hands or eating out of a bowl. Uh, we are going to be putting the biscuits on plates. You should, and using your hands, right? And using our hands. How would, oh, because Seymour wants to know if we're eating. I get it now. Because out of a bowl. Yeah. Did you know Seymour has an account now on Twitter and he tweets everybody? No. He has now tweeted over 700 times. He had the account set up yesterday. Wow. He can't read though. I've had a Twitter account for like 10 years and I think I've tweeted three times. <laughs> Why not mash them up? Okay, so you can't do that. They start full. No, this is not derailing. The fact that you think this is derailing is funny. This is content. Ah. It's not derailing in the slightest. Um... We are setting this off. J j mark our words. Wednesday, December 30th, 9 p.m., the first inaugural Waddle Gang Food Competition Part 1, The Biscuit Off, F5 Penguin, Magic by Pixie, Popeye's Biscuits, 90 seconds. Not Popeye's. What did right? we agree on? Oh, doing Red, Red Lobster. Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits, 90 seconds. I forgot about that part. And you can't mush the biscuits ahead of, ahead of time because that's not part of the deal. But you can definitely eat them too. We are going to tweet Red Lobster and let them know this is in. This is what we're doing. Okay. And, and we're going to tell them. Tell this, them. We're doing it. Tell them you want to sop their biscuits. Don't. Oh, God. Don't tell And we're. That. You know what we're going to do? This is the idea. Dunks, you wanted to provide? Here we go. We are going to tweet them, all of us right now. We're going to ask them that we're going to do this for them to donate $10,000 to Feeding America. Okay. For the people that are hungry this year. That's a good idea. That's what we're going to freaking do. 
And we're going to make them put up. Get at them right now. Tweet them. Tag me. Biscuit off. $10,000 for Feeding America to help people who can't put food on the damn table this holiday season. Fair or enough. next year, because next we're doing it after ha- Christmas. Post, post holiday. But, like, but you know what? People are hungry every day. John Oliver got um, Pringles to do this in a similar way. Not for a food eating competition, but for like what... Like a duck what, face competition? But for what Pringles looked like from the, he- from the neck down. People drew pictures. Of like a Pringles man body? Of fan art. And it was all over the place. And they demanded Pringles give us the answer. Mm-hmm. Like and then that. if they did, he would donate $10,000 personally. Yeah. The show would donate $10,000. I like it. And then Pring- they asked Pringles to match it. Can I? So they did. Can I tell you something funny? Yeah, go ahead. When I was a kid and I would draw pictures <clears throat> of my family. Oh, we're doing it. When I would draw pictures of my dad, like little stick pictures, um, his head would always come out looking like the Pringles guy. So like there's a time. Pringles. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not asking the local franchisee. I'm asking the owners of Red Robin who is a multi-hundred million dollar in revenue company to send a $10,000 write-off to Feeding America. This is not the same. I am not taking money out of it. No, this is the right play. Yeah. yeah Corporate not, looks for things to, like yeah. this to do all the time so that they can write it off for their taxes. Did I said Red Robin? You said Red Robin. Red Lobster. You don't know where you're going. I'm just saying. I you're just, go, you're going to have a tough time <laughs> getting anybody I just to do want this food. You can't, you can't stick to your... Bottomless fries competition is next. <laughs> Tell me the story. I was just saying that whenever I would draw pictures as a kid of my family, like me, my mom, my dad, whatever, um, my dad always looked like the Pringles man. And they would always make fun of it. And because, like, you know, he had, like, a little mustache and his hair was parted, you know, whatever. And so, like, if you look back through my scrapbooks that my mom um, made of me growing up, like, it looks like I lived with the Pringles man, like, in every <laughs> picture. <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. This is a biscuit off. We will work on it offline. Uh, this is going to be happening Wednesday the 30th, 9 p.m. I'll see if I'm available. You are available. I'll we check. need you to count. You're going to be able to have to count both of them. How and we're going to take... To check, or how am I supposed to count you guys simultaneously? Each person has a counter, by the way, in your 4th of July nonsense. Every person has a counter. Well, we only have one of you. Hey, Husky. We only have one uh, Mrs. Penguin, the officiator. Look, this is not a big budget thing. We're shoestrapping this whole ordeal. All right, fine. I'll count. Thank you. You're Good welcome. Lord. I don't I don't ask for a lot. I, I ask you to count biscuits. Not to count to potato. Not to count to bear. Count to biscuits. Counts only two biscuits. Two. Don't only count two biscuits. I, I am. I, we got to place some bets here. How many biscuits do you think I could eat in 90 seconds? I got to be honest. I don't think that bread is your strong suit. You don't I think, think so? No, I think she's going to beat you. You think she's going to beat me? I do. Stop it. I've seen you eat biscuits. I love biscuits. I know you do, but you don't eat them very fast because you... I savor them. You savor. I savor them. You biscuits. start eating food that you like and you're like, oh man, this is great. Let me ponder this for a little bit. And I'm a little concerned you're going to get stuck pondering while she's going to be... I'm not going to ponder. Beating you. I'm not going to ponder. I am I am ready. I am ready. I don't know, I'm, man. No, I'm going to train for the next two weeks. By eating biscuits? I mean, no, by not eating biscuits. So oh, I okay. want them more. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, you think you I should, should eat them every you day? Should, yeah, you should get over the want of the biscuit. Hello, Husky. Welcome from your ad. Uh, Husky had an ad joining us because now Twitch is putting ads on everything. Oh, cool. Like everything. That's fun. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yay. Um, and you can't control the message either, which is really cool. I wonder what yours was. Uh, probably for Red Robin. <laughs> <laughs> anything, <laughs> we're doing one for Red anything Lobster. Anything but Red Lobster is what it's going to be right now. <laughs> Did you see the new channel point feature? No, wait, what new channel point feature? No, we're not looking to see a sponsor. We just need them. Hold on. We'll, we'll work on the tweet offline. We just need them. We just need to get awareness for Red Lobster and then somehow con them into making donations to help feed people who are hungry. That's really the plan. Uh <laughs> The predictions contest. Thing. Oh, I didn't know about that. How do we better utilize that? Well, that's where we got to put in. People can wage channel points against the prediction. Well, this we're going to be doing it. that. This is it. We're going to have to do that. 
We're going to gamble this up. I mean, can you, you can't buy channel points though. So technically it's not really gambling. You can't buy channel points. You can only get channel points by watching and interacting. Mm -hmm. It's not really gambling. Well, you're just going to have to hold like channel point little drives or something between now and then. So people can wager yeah. on Pixie or you. Wow. Or you. Back to what I was saying. How many <laughs> biscuits do you think I could eat? I think you could eat like four. Four? And how many seconds? 90. Maybe six. Do we need to extend this to two minutes? I mean, probably. Two minutes? I just, listen, I'm not, and this is going to sound a little counterintuitive because I just said don't dunk, right? Because it's gross. Go ahead. I'm afraid it's going to get gummy. Me too, Pixie. In your mouth. It might. And then you're going to be like. You got to rinse. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to wet swallow, you know? I'm not being baited into this with you. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Prepping. three No, not three hours. Stop it. 50 always goes like 24 hour stream. Like every time. Doesn't matter. Everything's 24 hours. Like, it's not, just you eating biscuits for a solid 24 hours. But he's like, he's like three hours for this one. No, like hang on. Two, yeah. two minutes. Sleep, wake up, eat biscuits, fall back asleep. Repeat, crumbs repeat, everywhere. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Two minutes. I think we're doing two minutes. I right? think two minutes. How many sense. biscuits do you think I can eat in two minutes? How many biscuits do you think I'd eat in 30 seconds? Two. Two. Yeah. So you think my biscuit over under is 7.5? Probably. Probably. Wait, two, four, six. It's going to be like eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, so 7.5. Yeah, probably. Wow. That's not rude. I didn't marry you because of your ability to scarf down food. That was a pleasant surprise. That was just a bonus. <laughs> No, I just don't think yeah. that. No, I, don't I get think it. The biscuits are something that you can eat really fast. We're going to do this. I know you're going to do it, and I'm <laughs> going to be here for it. I'm just saying, I, I, I think it's going to be like seven, eight biscuits. Okay. I could see that. I could see seven or eight biscuits. I'm like, I'm like really thinking and about it. And then, you know what I think after that? I think that since you've been convinced to do this, or you're convincing, I don't know how this all got. I'm trying to convince started, myself, really. I think after that, I think you should have to stream after and then tell everybody what a bad idea it was oh, to yeah. shove eight biscuits part of it. in your mouth in two minutes. Uh, Joey Flash with the vote of confidence. Thank you, Joey Flash. I think you could safely down a biscuit every 20 seconds. Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. Okay. That puts me at five, or three, six, nine, 12 biscuits. I don't know. I don't know. Like chicken wings, I could see you do really well with, <laughs> chicken, right? Like Dunks would do that one in the B-dubs off, you saying. Yeah, ribs. You know, like stuff that you could like. Burgers? No, you couldn't eat a bunch of burgers either. Um, Breathe through your nose. Yeah, that's the hard part. Uh, 50 says, please don't choke on a biscuit. Magic Pi by Pixie says, uh, what if we both get stuck on like two? <laughs> I'll say, I told you so. <laughs> And then I'm going to set the little clock down because in my in my mind, I have a stopwatch right. in my hand Pixie, and then I leave. I am on board with with you uh, having someone next to you. If you want to bring in um, anyone that you deem uh, appropriate, we will allow it per the rules of the major league eating standards. This is, we're sticking to it. Yeah, fine. That's a good idea. Yeah, you need you need a buddy system for this just in case you start to choke. Yeah, That's really what it comes down to. I can do the Heimlich. And she's wondering, uh, she's going to bring in Princess, her dog. That's fine. Yeah, she can help, right? She's certified? Yep. Yeah, perfect. And uh, and she will eat all the biscuit crumbs. Flash, this is what I'm saying. Like when, when Drew did the one bite Big Mac, you, you got to breathe through your nose. If you don't do it, it's a, it's a, it's a bad idea. See? Yeah. We're going to do this. My gotta, bis the biscuits are smaller than you gotta that. You got to put Vicks underneath your nose to... Yeah, I know. I, get, so I was, was going to get the, the smelling salts that the hockey players use. For the last time, you cannot... Have smelling salt. Dunks, tell her she won't let me use smelling salts. You and don't I get my need nose. Them. Hold on. My nose gets all stuffy sometimes because I have, you know, sinus things. I said, like, sometimes I just can't breathe through my nose. There's no, like, snot in it. It's just like, it feels like it's closed up, but there's nothing in it. It's called I said, congestion. I said, smelling salts would be fine. Can we just tell Dunks the context in which you want to use smelling salts? Go ahead. And that it's random times throughout the most basic and normal of days you'll be like yeah. watching tv and you'll be like i can't smell so good i need smelling salts yes no you don't Thank need you. smelling salts or we're out and about you're like i said hey did you smell that whatever food we drove past no i didn't i must need smelling salts thank you no you don't how need do you smelling figure salts. this is not real 
Have you ever seen what happens to people when they're like they not win the for that? Stanley Cup? I know what happens. Thank That's, you. Listen, one time I watched a video of a girl who had she just like <laughs> opened these smelling salts and she sm- she was filming herself in the car. Right. I, I was tick tocking. I'm not going to sure. Lie. Yeah. And she sniffed it. Right. And she, for some reason, like she it's had amazing. some weird spasm and just like head butt the steering well, wheel. If you're boop. not, you got to prep yourself. She honked the horn. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Just Dunks bam. uses them. And he was saying either use them or uh, snort some hot sauce or Flonase. So I think smelling salts is the best. I'm not cheating with these drugs. These are drugs that you can use during a hockey game. And if the if the NHL allows it, then it's fine. That's probably not true. That's definitely true. They're different sports. I mean, they are. You can't go fight somebody in the NBA. Hold on. The okay. Ho- okay. The NHL allows that too. They're like, fine, oh, fine, don't fine. smash Will each Will you? Other. All right. Hold on. Sit in timeout for so, five so minutes. So Major League Eating does allow VIX. For the reasons you stated, are we yeah. allowed to use Vicks then? I said that. You did say that, but everyone's calling me a cheater now. Now I feel bad. No, Pixie has, look, I'm she lives up north. Right. She has parents. Right. She has Vicks. She has parents. She has Vicks. <laughs> she can use Vicks. She knows her parents have Vicks. It's not a, it's not a secret. This is great. Everybody has a Vicks. So we can use Vicks to open up the... the Nose. You, oh my God. What? Pixie's never used Vicks. What? I don't, I can't. Can, just, did you even, ha- listen, when I was I a kid, even. I can't, I can't. Every time I got she remote. She said, you don't know my house. I do, I, apparently, I don't know her house. My mom used to make me wear this Vicks every time I got remotely sick. You don't know my house. I don't know why she's coming at me today, man. She's feisty tonight, huh? You remember how I was telling you, you secrets earlier? You didn't even tell her. She doesn't even know. Like, no. Dangle the carrot. No, I'm not going to. You're not going to do it? No. She doesn't get it now. She told me I was gross, okay? Oh, you I upset her? I didn't say she you, was gross. You upset her you know so what? bad. Tell her. Tell her what I was doing earlier. You tell, tell her. her. No, because I'm not talking mouth. to her right now. You have to tell her. It come from your mouth. It'll be more impactful, I think. I was not going to tell her for that reason. I think you should. I was curating a pixie box from Hazel and Rosemary with a special a special product shaped like a said mouse. In certain colors that a person maybe has a preference of. And glitter. <laughs> It's murmuring. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a town hall. <laughs> murmuring. <laughs> That's cute because I have a gift for the penguin family, so we have the same ideas, it seems. She's the best. It's really sad now that we can't do any of that because we're not talking because we're not friends because she's been mean to me. Can you guys make up already, damn it? Uh, <laughs> Dunk says, my girlfriend calls me gross. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, how many times a day do I say, ew, you're so gross, and then leave? Pixie says there's tension. They can't, you, she can't forgive you. I think you're almost past shipping deadlines. Probably, but it'll come late. It's fine. Um, gifts can be whenever. She shouldn't have called Pixie gross. Sack is right. This is accurate. This is why I don't come into your stream. Like, sometimes they love me. Other times it's like... I think you know? I think Pixie and I are going to have a biscuit off, and you and Pixie are going to have a punch out. No, I'm not going to punch her. I'm not. You're going to have a boxing person. match. I'm not. I don't hit. Yeah, boxing match. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Boxing match. I still love her. Oh. It's fine. I love her from afar. This is the best. Uh, Joey Flash does. Don't coroners and CSIs use Vicks so they cover the smell of the dead bodies? I sure think so. do. I think so. Sure do. Sure do. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Pixie says, I still love her. Hug her for me. There you go. So everything's better now, right? Are we good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're good now. We're good now. Okay, good now. Good now. All right, good. So we've we've broken and mended a relationship <laughs> and set a date and uh, picked the biscuit of choice for the... First inaugural. Oh, did we even ask her if she likes those biscuits? She, no, that's when she went crazy over them. Oh, okay. Because I can't okay. see, so I, didn't, I had to make sure. Yeah, yeah. We're not she's, being she's good. She's good. No Rudy um, For the first inaugural, Waddle Gang hosted 
Should you say annual? For the inaugural first annual Waddle Gang Food Challenge. Yeah. Chapter one, Biscuit Off. Does this mean you're not going to Red Lobster, not Red Robin or Popeyes. None of the In parentheses, parenthetical. Does this mean you're not going to do the Chicky Nuggy expedition until next year? Uh, It comes and goes. Brought to you by Red Lobster. Thank you. (laughs) Can't be annual food challenge. I mean, that's fine. Well, okay. The first edition sponsored by Wrangler Jeans. (laughs) You're a Levi's man. The first edition of the Waddle Gang Food Challenge. Edition one, the biscuit off. Sponsored by Red Lobster. I feel like it should be chapter one. Chapter one. Yeah. I like chapter one better. Uh, How do we get this going? We need to figure this out. (laughs) I would suggest you start by ordering biscuits and then you bring them home and then you eat them. Good call. Yeah, I did it. (laughs) 2020 food challenge. No, Uh, (laughs) (laughs) uh, this is going to be great. We're setting it for December 30th, 9 p.m. Um, You know, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. This, I, I've never been more ready for anything in my life. I'm glad you're so excited about it. Why are you not is the question. Nobody offered me any biscuits. Do you want some biscuits? Maybe. I'll get some I extras. Like them. I'm going to get about a dozen. You know who you should really have? We do need graphics. I don't know if I have time to get graphics, but we do need graphics. We need Red Lobster. That's what we need. What? Nothing. I changed my mind. I'm not going to say it. No, now. say it. Go ahead. No, because I, I lost my train of thought midway through it. Okay. <laughs> I started thinking, I don't know what happened. I'm tired. I don't know. It's been a long day. It's not been. I have no excuse. Two dozen biscuits. I love this. Sack is already tweeting it. This is amazing.